All right, here's my real quick disassembly of the MD-17 and fixing the overheating problem. Basically, you unscrew these two, pop that up. There's a little tab here that catches, so sometimes you gotta really pry it to get it to come off. There's two more screws here on the memory cover. You take that off. Uh, take out your battery. There's three screws here. They have a little picture of a keyboard. Um, you gotta take those out. Um, there's a whole bunch of screws in here. There's one here, there's one here, uh, there's one here, there's one here. Basically, find all the screws in here and take those out. You don't need to take your memory out or your uh, Wi Fi module. Um, you don't even have to take out, well, yeah, it's good to take out your hard drives. So, here's a hard drive. So once you have your hard drives taken out, you've got all these screws taken out, um, flip over your laptop and get a very thin, you probably know what that is, but get a thin um, thing that you can, uh, it's even too thick. Uh, basically you want to Pry out the motherboard or the keyboard. <laughs> motherboard. It's just got a lot of little tabs that hold on. Um, if you didn't get this screw here, let's see that one is right there. It's got a picture of a keyboard. So there's four. Uh, Four screws, other ones right here next to the memory mod or the Wi-Fi module. So a picture of a keyboard. If you don't get those four out at least, and you try to pop out your keyboard, you're gonna bend it. Um, flip up this little, little black thing. That one just fell out. But there's little little tabs. You just flip them up get the cables out and you see here when you don't have the uh, the middle screw out uh, you bend your case on your keyboard you can bend it back but I've taken this thing out like <laughs> ten times I don't know maybe not that many all right once you got that out there's uh, two screws here there, one over here, and once you get those out, it's kind of tilted outside and let's push through these things. That'll pop the back of it out. This case is pretty loose because I've done this so much, but you'll have to pop out the sides. So there's Two more cables in here, just flip up the little tab and then the cables come out. There's a tab there, tab here. If you're not careful with these, they'll come off and then it's really loose. You can put them back on, but they're really loose. So be careful with those. All right, so once you have the top, and that top case won't come off unless you have all um, actually it will come out. I'm not sure what all the, there's so many screws in here, I haven't really looked at what they are. No, that one's, yeah, you gotta get all the little screws out. Pretty sure, yeah, there's little screw posts on this top cover. So make sure you get all the screws out, and if it's not popping out real easy, then you need to get them all. Um, you need to take your DVD drive out. Uh, there's three screws on it. And I, it looks like there's two more. There's two little screws here. Don't worry about those. 
just slide it out like that. It slides right out. And uh, these screws just hold on the connector, but it's soldered. I don't know why they have the screws on there other than reinforcement. There's two arrows on the motherboard that point to a screw. Those are the two screws you gotta take out. There's another arrow here over by the fan. So take those two screws out. And then uh, carefully pop this connector off the motherboard. That's your monitor connector. It's got um, a lot of little tiny wires. And then this little wire here, you just pull straight away from it. That goes up into the screen. So once you have that, um, there's a speaker wire there. Just kind of tuck it away so it doesn't get under the motherboard when you put it back in. Another little tab you gotta flip up and you can is a memory card reader. And then over here you got another speaker connector on top. Pull it away, slides right out. And then this big white cable, this is the power. Alright, so once you have that, oh, I should mention uh, taking off the Wi Fi antennas off the Wi Fi card. Not necessary, but otherwise, you gotta do it at this point. They just pop off. So, lift it out like that and pull it away so the ports come off the edge here. All right, now you got your motherboard out. You can set your computer aside. And there are three little screw posts on your GPU. And undo those. And there's four on your CPU. These are the, um, the mounts that hold the copper heat pipes on the chips. So unscrew those. Now I've already opened the fan power. It's right there, just pull that up gently. Just be gentle with all these wires. I'm going fast done this a lot. Um, so I used Arctic Silver 2 on this. I had some and it, that worked fine. I just got some Arctic Silver 5. I did this other laptop with 5 and it seems to work better. So now I'm doing my other laptop. 